Jeremy Clarkson has shared his frustrations in an update on how his Diddley Squat Farm planning permission appeal is going. Jeremy Clarkson, 62, was left less than impressed by the argument put forward by the barrister hired by villagers who are based near his farm in the Cotswolds. The Top Gear star turned farmer complained that the butter he sells in the Diddley Squat Farm shop was being singled out in his planning permission appeal last week. Jeremy is hoping the appeal will result in him being allowed to expand the size of his car park and include other features to his farm shop near Chipping Norton, Oxfordshire. Sharing an insight into how the planning permission hearing with West Oxfordshire District Council went, Jeremy vented his frustrations in his latest column. He told The Sun. The whole thing went to appeal and a barrister hired by people in the nearby village, yes. If you've seen Clarkson's farm, that barrister decided to single out the butter we sell as an example of why the shop shouldn't have a car park. I couldn't understand his reasoning either, and then it got even more complicated. He said that because it says Diddley Squat on the label we are charging £5 for it, and that, as a result, it's just a souvenir. A souvenir? Really? Who goes to Rome and brings some butter home as a memento? Or New York? I could have come back with a model of the Statue of Liberty but instead I've got this pack of Kerrygold, Jeremy Swite. Jeremy went on to point out the, even more shaky, element of the argument, revealing the butter isn't branded with diddly squat. He also clarified that the farm produce is actually cheaper than a tub of Lurpak from a supermarket is currently priced at. It comes after Jeremy was ordered to close the doors of his controversial restaurant on the farm by the council. The future of the eatery will be decided in the next few weeks. Diddly Squat has become even more popular since the release of the second series of hit Amazon Prime video docuseries Clarkson's Farm. The show follows Jeremy as he gets to grips with owning a 1,000-acre farm in the Cotswolds. Jeremy opened his restaurant in the summer of 2022 in an abandoned barn on his land after he found a delightful little loophole. But it wasn't long before the council argued it had to be shut, claiming its nature, scale, and siting as unsustainable and incompatible with its countryside location within the Cotswold area of outstanding natural beauty.